Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to use Ibis Paint X if you're a beginner. Um, also welcome back to the channel, it's Cocoa Fruit! <laughs> So to get Ibis, all you have to do is go to the Play Store or the App Store, depending on which device you're using. And you just search up I IBIS Paint X and you can download it for free! And since I already downloaded mine, I'm just going to click open. So you'll be led to the screen with uh, three options as well as the settings and the help button. Um, so online gallery are art pieces that other users have made and shared to the community. And um, collections, uh, collection is the art pieces that you have downloaded from the online gallery. And my gallery, this option here, is where, of course, all your um, art pieces that you have made with Ibis um, are stored. So to make your own or start your own drawing, all you just have to click is this plus sign. And it will lead you to these custom-made um, canvas sizes, or you can make your own canvas size. And you can even import a picture um just note that the higher the canvas size is the slower um the program may be so ch maybe choose a smaller canvas size and uh, as you won't be able to use as much layers if you choose the largest the maximum um size amount so i'm just going to use the custom made um one to one ratio and you're led to the screen, which is your canvas, and where you're gonna start your drawings. So I'm gonna start with the tutorial along with my art process on how I use Ibis, usually, as I think that would be most helpful in helping you guys. Um, so these are the tools, of course, and this stack of papers here on the bottom, these are your layers. And so you could add a layer with this plus sign, and you can import a picture. So I'm going to use this camera to import um, the sketch that I did in real life as digital drawing is a bit uh, different from traditional um, drawing and I think it would be helpful if you're just starting out to sketch your drawings in real life and just upload it and if you're already used to it then you can just ske um, sketch directly onto the art, art program and it's going to upload. So once you click a picture you could scale it to how you want it to be you can change the perspective. You could do this mesh form or this thing here, um, but I'm just gonna scale it to um, the size that I want to capture. And you just click this check mark to save it. And you can extract a line drawing. Um, what this does is it makes it black and white. I guess it would be uh, more helpful to like help you see the lines. Um, I think I'm going to use it and what I usually do is that I click the layers again and since I don't want to draw on the original photo I'm just going to drag it all the way down and making it on the bottom it's like layers you know like layers of paint like it's gonna be the bottom layer um, and then I'm just gonna sketch on the layers on top I'm gonna delete and also, if you want to delete a layer, you just click this trash can right here on the side. And yeah. Also, I usually invert the photo. Um, invert it horizontally, this one. This also inverts it horizontally as well. And this one inverts it um, vertically. Oh, and this one inverts the layer color. Um, but since it's not, uh, it's, since it's black and white, you won't be able to see the weird thing, is, thing it does. <laughs> and this one right here is... It clears the layer and the eye shape here um, makes the layer visible or not visible and there's this clipping thing which like um, lets the layer be clip, uh, clipped I'll show you guys what that does later on and alpha as well so the background you can change the background to this like a transparent background and such so I'm gonna use the brush to start drawing and it gives you there's usually like a like a lock sign here and it says that you have to watch an ad, which I think is a pretty good deal because you have to watch an ad for like 30 seconds and it gives you all the brushes, 381 of them for free. And after, for 18 hours, and after 18 hours is finished, you just watch the ad again and you get the, all the brushes again for free for another 18 hours, unless you wanna buy the app. So that's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty good deal. And custom, oh, and also if you, have a brush that you you use really often 
you just click this plus sign and it would automatically be in the customs which are your brushes that you saved and use often as well there's there's also history from the brushes you used before and on the side here are the settings of the brush you can change it to the thickness let me see make it bigger and you can change the thickness the start um you can change the shape the fade the jitter the type the water the double <laughs> um dynamic there's also even more settings and you can reset the brush if you mess up or you don't want the settings that you use anymore so jitter is pretty cool um let me show you what it does so also to change the color you just click this um block of color here and you have this color wheel and here are the colors and so what jitter does is that it changes the who of like the endpoint or you can change the pattern or the, the stroke of the um the brush so i usually place it on endpoint you can even change the saturation the brightness of the jitter yeah also, this eraser right here, it also has settings here oh, on the side, so that's pretty cool. It has um, settings for both the brush and eraser, which, uh, which i never seen before. And I'm gonna start drawing. And also, you can change the size of the pen on the, these arrows, and also the opacity of the pen. Um, I'm gonna change the opacity of the original picture of the sketch. Oh, also, you could um, change and rotate the canvas with um with doing this motion and you could zoom in and zoom out like this yeah and also you can redo this this is the redo or undo button and this is redo button but you could also undo with a double tap and you could also redo your undo with this with the triple tap so that's pretty a neat feature so i'm gonna show you guys what this um special pen does so what this um, selection does it could drag it what shrink does it shrinks it this expands it this smoothens it and this it reverts it back to what it was like um, in the original and it's a pretty useful tool if you have like areas that you want to fix but you don't want to redo the whole thing and another tool that I'm going to show you guys is the lasso tool so the lasso does is that it selects an area and you could transform it um, like this or you can even do this perspective thing or the mesh thing and you can even add more by using this add button or you could even subtract this selection that you made so and you can even set it so it could only select this one and you can re invert the selection so instead of this one it selects everything except for this area that you first selected and you can undo it and you could remove the selection by clicking this oh also you could rotate it with, by doing by doing this one by clicking this rotate button rotate and you could not let it zoom by clicking this magnifier and it won't zoom anymore and you could rotate it only but if you don't want any of them and you just want to move it and it's there also you guys can um click this button here to switch to eraser very quickly so once i finish my line art i'm gonna upload my color scheme which i already did a video on on like which colors to choose for my drawings which i got inspired by um an image that i really like and to select the color you could either do this eyedropper and you could just select or you could just hold down and it automatically selects the color which i think is really useful and you could use this magic brush to select an area and you can use this bucket tool to just do this either even without the magic brush selection you could do this with um either way so for example if i just erase the selection and i just use the bucket tool you could still do that and you could also blur everything like this. So what clipping is, um, I'm gonna make a new layer, is that it only um, applies to this layer. So for example, if I wanted to use um, a filter, see it only applies to that layer, it can't go out of that layer um, from the selection, the selected parts from this layer. So you could always do that and you can even use the 
the uh, the layer modes, which are like these, and you can just play around with them um, and see which one you like. And there's even screen tone, which changes it to these patterns, which I think is pretty cool, if, especially if you're doing comics. Um, if you put this in alpha lock, it would only color in that layer. So yeah. Um, oh, also for comics, you could use this um, frame divider and you, um, let me see, and you just click the canvas and you click add frame and you can make your own f um, frame and you do this and you could do this, this, and this, which is pretty, pretty useful, especially if you're doing comics and that's really cool. And also, if you don't like the canvas size, you could use uh, click this button and you can change the canvas size. You could trim the canvas size, resize it, invert it, rotate it, do whatever you want with it. And I think that's a really cool picture. Also, there's text. You can write text on it. Um, let me see. Look how pretty. Look how cool this is. <laughs> and yeah, that's really cool. And also, the text um, makes its own layer. Ah, the filter tool. So. Um, the filter tool, select the layer that you want, and it um, filters it. It also auto paints. Um, let's see what it does. Yeah. And I'm gonna go back to original. And if you don't want to it to select everything, just unviz, <laughs> unviz the other layers. Um, so we're gonna go back to filters. Well, let me show you guys this filter thing with the FX. Let's see, go to the filters. You could adjust the color. Once you're finished with the drawing, you could just click this um, back arrow and you click, um, you could either save it as a ping or save it as transparent ping. Um, make sure, I don't know if it does this, but make sure this background is like this or this for transparency, I guess. You can adjust the, the, pen, pr the pen pressure here. It's really cool. I also um, forgot to mention this thing here on top. It's the texture or the materials. You can click it and and you can favor it um, your favorites with the thing. It also uses um, connection, so make sure you're on the internet and you just click this star button to save it on your favorites. And there's this also history from your past uses. And you just click it and you download it. And what I do for this is I could make like um like the, like a texture so i could make this like this color uh, i mean this op op opacity, opacity and it could um make it seem like this is the texture of the canvas and especially if you use multiply that's pretty useful as well so yeah and yeah and if you want to save it you can save it as ping and i think it automatically saves and you can click back to my gallery and what it does is that it um it you can even save it um a movie or like the your speed paint of it and you can click this one to like see whoa see how the speed paint is hopefully this tutorial is really useful for you guys if you if i left anything out just leave them in the comments below and i'll address it and hopefully answer your questions so that's about it guys thanks for watching hopefully you found this tutorial really helpful i really hope you do um and if you have any questions or any comments uh, leave them down below in the comment section and if you would like to see more of my content or more of this <laughs> please subscribe and click the bell notification that would be awesome and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye